Hello everyone, I'm Brenda LaMoldro and I am sure plenty of tennis fans both in our nation and around the world hadn't heard of Shelby Rogers before this year's French Open. Well, the Low Country native showed everyone what she's capable of on one of the biggest stages in the sport with a run to the quarterfinals at Roland Garris. Unfortunately, Rogers couldn't keep it going today against Spain's Garbine Muguruza, the number four seed in the tournament. Rogers falls 7-5, 6-3. She was the first American woman not named Serena or Venus Williams to make the French Open quarterfinals since 2005. According to the WTA Tour, Rogers will move up from 108th in the world rankings to get this, a career-high 59th. Her previous best was 70 back in 2014, and she will go from the 16th highest ranked American to number six. Way to go, Rogers. Now, staying with the French Open, world number one and defending champ Serena Williams was dominant in her fourth round match. She took down Elena Svitsalina in straight sets, 6-1, 6-1. The three-time winner on Daniel Island and 21-time Grand Slam champ still hasn't dropped a set in Paris this year. Williams will face her older sister Venus, who did fall today in the fourth round to Tamea Bakhtinsky. The South Carolina women's basketball team is added to its loaded roster. Head coach Don Staley announced today's Alexis Jennings is transferring to USC. You may remember Jennings from the Kentucky Wildcats women's team where she was the 10th leading rebounder in the SEC this past season. Jennings will have to sit out this upcoming season due to NCAA regulations, but will have two years of eligibility with the Lady Gamecocks. The all-time leader in wins for South Carolina's football program, Steve Spurrier, and the man who led Clemson to their only national championship in the sport, Danny Ford, could make the College Football Hall of Fame this year. The National Football Foundation put out their ballot for this year's class. Spurrier and Ford are two of the six coaches up for election at the FBS level. Yes, I know it's only June 1st, but we can discuss NFL stuff too. The defending NFC champion Carolina Panthers are in their second week of organized team activities. One of the storylines for the Cats is their version of spring practice is the return of Kelvin Benjamin. The team's top wide receiver in 2014 missed all of 2015 with a knee injury. So this means league MVP Cam Newton has an extra weapon to use on an offense that was already the best offense in the league last season. According to the numbers, Pro Bowl tight end Greg Olson is loving that. You know, one of our greatest strengths as an offense last year was the versatility and, and kind of at the same time the ability to just play a role by that wide receiver group. I think that was really a catalyst for, for our season developing the way it did. Um, and adding Kelvin to that is just going to help. That's going to do it for sports, but don't sprint off just yet. There'll be more right after this quick break.